Prince Harry and Prince William were barely on speaking terms during a serious rift when they were younger, a royal biographer reveals. Prince Harry and Prince William are now both settled down into family life, with Harry eagerly awaiting his first child with the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle. Meanwhile, royal watchers are wondering whether William and Kate will decide on another royal arrival of their own to join Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. However, the prince's younger day saw their fair share of partying, including one incident which sparked their first serious rift. Katie Nichol, in her 2010 book William and Harry, reveals how the two brothers have not always seen eye to eye. In 2002 it was revealed that the underage Harry had been drinking in the village pub near Highgrove, and had also been smoking marijuana. Ms. Nichol writes. Harry escaped an official police warning but the incident sent shockwaves through the royal family. She continues, it was the catalyst for the first serious rift between William and Harry, who resented the fact that he had been blamed for everything while William got away scot-free. She explains that William had hardly been a model of decorum at Highgrove, in the party basement they dubbed Club H, and during lock-ins at the nearby Rattlebone Inn. Ms. Nichol also reveals how the princes were barely on speaking terms during the rift. She writes how William went to visit Harry at Eton, to smooth the situation over. She reports how a former aide said, William felt guilty that his brother had taken all the blame while he had come out as Mr. Goody Two Shoes. For the first time their relationship really suffered and they barely spoke. In the end he forgave William because it wasn't really William's fault, but it took some time. Harry was reeling for a while, 